So today we have the camera comparison between the Samsung A24 and the Redmi Note 12 5G. So for the price, uh, both of these phones come under 30,000 here in Nepal. The price may vary according to country, but yeah, these are pretty similar price tag. Now in terms of the camera specs, both of these phones come with triple camera setup, but the Samsung has 50 missile main sensor, whereas the Redmi Note 12 5G has 48 missile main sensor. Then onto the ultra wide, this one, the Samsung A24 has five missile versus the eight on the Redmi Note 12 5G. And both of these phones come with two megapixels macro sensor. Likewise, on the front, both of these phones come with 13 megapixel selfie camera. So at first, I'll show you a photo sample from both of these phones, one on the left, one on the right. So tell me which one's better. You guys can tell me which one's better, comment down below. All right, so one on the left is the Samsung A24 and one on the right is the Redmi Note 12 5G. And if you look at it at first, you'll see that there's not much uh, difference between these photos, but uh, yes, the Samsung A24 has better exposure. If you look at this rooftop of this house, can see that there's better exposure. Also, uh, the red color has been boosted on the A24, whereas the greens look boosted on the Redmi Note 12 5G. But I like the overall picture profile of the Samsung A24 here. And also, if you zoom in, look at this, there's more detail on the A24. So for this one, the clear winner is the Samsung A24 4G. So that was just a single picture and we obviously cannot decide based on single picture. So let me show you more pictures of the outdoor photos. So on this one, uh, in this picture of the building, the Samsung A24 and the Redmi Note 12 5G photos look identical. But there's slight difference in contrast, but there's not much difference to be really honest. And if you look at the exposure levels, both of them have similar exposure. But uh, the Samsung A24 has better color profile and also the Redmi Note 12 5G photo has a bit of a yellow tint. Also moving on to the photo of the scooter. This photo also has a yellow tint on the Redmi Note 12 5G. The white looks more accurate on the Samsung A24 and also the picture profile is much better on the Samsung A24. So for this one, Samsung A24 is winner but by a slight margin only. So by now, I think you guys must have noticed that the field of view of the Samsung A24 is larger, is wider than the Redmi Note 12 5G. And in this photo as well, you can see that the field of view is wider on the Samsung A24. And also one thing I've noticed is that sometimes the Redmi Note 12 5G cannot focus the subject properly. So in this photo, you can see that the red rose is not in focus on the Redmi Note 12 5G. And also the overall uh, picture is better on the Samsung A24. It is much more sharper. The color profile is also kind of balanced in this one. And also you can see that there's a yellow tint on the Redmi Note 12 5G again, which is apparent on most of the photos. Now moving indoors, if you take a look at the photo of this stuffed animal, you can see that the photo of the Samsung A24 looks much more sharper than the Redmi Note 12 5G. The Redmi Note 12 5G photo almost looks really, really soft. And also there's yellow tint, which is apparent on most of these photos, as I said earlier. And also the color profile is better on the Samsung A24. Now moving on to the photo of this Sony A6400, you can see that there's yellow tint on the Redmi Note 12 5G and also the detail is much more better on the Samsung A24. If you zoom in, you can see much more details and the texture is there. If you look at this focus ring, there's good texture on the A24, but not on the Redmi Note 12 5G. And also last photo, look at this. The Samsung A24 has much more better picture because the Redmi Note 12 5G has gone totally overboard with the yellow tint. Yeah, so overall winner for the indoor photo is the Samsung A24. Now, before we move on to the ultra wide video, subscribe to the channel will be ultra appreciated. Now let's move on to the ultra wide photos. So here, the Samsung A24 has a five megapixels ultra wide sensor, whereas the Redmi Note 12 5G has an eight megapixel sensor. Now let's take a look at this first photo. So here you can see that the distortion has been handled really well on the A24 compared to the Redmi Note 12 5G. Uh, the overall exposure is also slightly better on the A24. Uh, in terms of detail, I think they are quite head to head. There's not much difference in terms of details. I think there's not much to separate between the two in this photo. So I think it's a draw. Also moving on to the next one. In here, you can see that the Samsung A24 has slightly less detail than the Redmi Note 12 5G, but the exposure is better on the A24. So I think in terms of ultra wide sensor, I think it's a draw. Now we'll test the portrait mode on both of these photos. First is the Samsung A24. So we are going with the uh, strength of level four. Let's take a photo. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some sort of lag and processing time as well. Now let's move on to the Redmi Note 12 5G. Right, so there's no adjustable app stop on the Redmi Note 12 5G. So we'll take full setting. All right, so now let's compare. 
So if you look at the photos, you can see that the, the Redmi Note 12 5G photo looks a bit soft than the A24. A24 has better details in the face as well. The cutout is pretty much similar, but the blur effect is, I think, better on the Samsung A24. If you look at the blur, now let's ask Pranis which he prefers. Both looks very similar, uh, but I definitely I think the Samsung looks better. Samsung one looks. This is the Samsung, right? Yes. The skin tone is a bit warmer on the Redmi Note 12 5G. Uh, I prefer the Samsung. All right, so Samsung A24 is the winner for this one. Let's take a look at more portrait photos. Now let's take a look at this portrait photo. So in here, the HD accent is good on both of these photos. The color is also pretty similar on both of these phones. Uh, likewise, the HD accent and the blur background is also nice on both phones. But if you take a closer look, the face details is much more better and sharper on the Samsung A24 compared to the Redmi Note 12 Pro 5. Sorry, Redmi Note 12 5G. Also, the next photo, you can see that Samsung A24 is not perfect in terms of the HD action. Redmi Note 12 5G is doing a better job, but I think the overall detail and the picture profile, the color profile, the sharpness is better on the Samsung A24. Now taking a look at the portrait photos of the objects, you can see that in this one, the picture profile, the color is better on the Samsung A24 and it looks sharper as well on the Redmi Note 12 5G. It almost looks like that the subject is not in focus properly and also there's a yellow tint on the Redmi Note 12 5G. So in this one, I like the Samsung A24. And on the next one as well, the Samsung A24 is slightly better with better field of view and also the color profile is better, the exposure is better on the Samsung A24 but this one is almost neck to neck in overall the portrait photo of the Samsung A24 is better than the Redmi Note 12 5C. Now let's talk about selfies from both of these phones so if you take a look at these first photos indoors you can see that Samsung A24 has a bit softer picture compared to the Redmi Note 12 5C but again Redmi Note 12 5C has that warmer look because the face has that ready stone so this one is kind of balanced because both these phones are not taking good pictures so moving on to this next one i think the samsung a24 is doing a much more better job with both the exposure the details on the face is better on the a24 as well now moving on to the outdoor selfies the samsung a24 has slightly more sharper picture than the redmi note 12 5g and again both of these phones are doing excellent job with the background details the sdr is working well and also the color profile is kind of similar uh, on both of these phones but i think the a24 is overall doing a better job and is more consistent than compared to the redmi note 12 5g now we're testing the sort of speed on both of these phones so on the left is the a24 on the right is the redmi note 12 5g so let's take photos more photos so clearly the redmi note 12 5g has better sort of speed it is faster and the processing time is also better it is faster on the redmi note 12 5g so in this term the redmi note 12 5g is the winner and now we'll test the focus speed on both of these phones so first is the a24 so here we go Alright, the focus speed is really good on the A24, it is fast and it is very consistent. Now let's move on to the Redmi Note 12 5G. Alright. So it is not as fast as the A24 and sometimes it's taking much more time. So here the A24 is the clear winner in terms of the focus speed. So now let's talk about the night photos with the night mode turned off and turned on. So in this first photo, the A24 has better details and it maintains the texture. The Note 11 5G on the other hand has really low detail and looks smudged. Now with the night mode turned on, the Note 12 5G improves but still the A24 is more appealing. Now on to the next one, the Note 12 5G has brighter photo here but the exposure balance is better on the A24. Also, Note 12 does a better job of retaining the detail here but with the night mode on, the A24 does not improve much. The Note 11 5G photo looks oil painted on the other hand, the exposure is still balanced on the A24 and the A24 photo is much more appealing. Alright, now it's time for the video so we'll go outside and check out the videos from both the A24 and the Redmi Note 12 5G. So we're going to do the camera stabilization test of the A24 and the Redmi Note 12 5G. Both can do 10 to 30 FPS but the A24 has OIS. So now I'm going to walk and then run.
So we're back in the studio and the results are as expected because I did think that the A24 would capture better videos than the Redmi Note 12 5G and that's the case here. So in case of Stabilization, the Samsung A24 is a clear winner because it also has OIS. So Stabilization is really good on the A24 compared to the Redmi Note 12 5G. The color is much more accurate on the A24 and the exposure balance is also way better than the Note 12 5G. Also, if you check out this pan video, the pan is really smooth on the A24 and likewise the exposure is consistent and the color looks better on the A24. So between the A24 and the Redmi Note 12 5G, I think the primary camera is slightly better on the A24 because it is much more consistent. In case of ultra wide, there's not much difference, so it's kind of a tie. In case of portrait mode, I would go with the A24. Likewise, with night mode, uh, I would go with the A24. And also, video is much more better on the A24. So for me, the KO winner uh, between Redmi Note 12 5G and the Samsung A24 in case of camera is the A24. Take leg.